Hey guys, uh, welcome back, and today we're going to be talking about this knife. It is a Texas Jack, two-bladed, and it's four inches long, serpentine design, made by Imperial, and it's sporting what I call Dalmatian scales on there. <clears throat> and um, if you'd like to hear more about this uh, oldie, check out the video. All right, welcome back to the Fortified Chat channel. Uh, hi to all my friends. Bonjour, Privet, Guten Tag, Hola, Ciao, and Konnichiwa to my foreign friends. And um, we're going to be talking about this little knife here. It's going to be a quick video, but this is a... <clears throat> um, it's an Imperial um, Texas Jack. So Texas Jacks, uh, that term really applies to two knives. One is the opposite end moose, and they were absolutely huge. The smallest ones are like four and a quarter inches, but they went up from there. <clears throat> and then jacks like this that were very large but two bladed. So that's a jackknife, <clears throat> and they called them uh, Texas jacks. So this knife is um, four inches almost exactly. It was made by Imperial uh, Knife Company. Um, sometime between, uh, 1956 and, um, <clears throat> 1988. I think it actually is after, um, 1960 because this, uh, DE was a trademark of Shipley. And so they really couldn't use it until Shipley went out of business in the 60s. So I think these date from the 60s up to 1988. It is a shellback design. It's a thin piece of metal that comprises the whole outer covering. So the bolsters in the um, cover is integral, uh, one integral piece. And then you have little tabs here that clip onto the uh, liners. And so they can make this, set it down, clip it on, machine it. On here and um, it was very inexpensive this large knife went for about 40 cents and that's in 1974 so um, <clears throat> you know it went for less earlier you do see pens here but this is a optical illusion and so um, there were some some um, uh, blowback from the public because this design if, if you slam this down these clips can break the whole your whole uh scale will come off the knife <clears throat> and so um this was an attempt to make people think that they were now penned but they're not they're it, that's fake so this scale is not pinned to the uh liner and i could open that up and show you but this knife's really dirty i don't know whether you could actually see it or not but I like this design. That's why I bought it. <clears throat> it looks kind of cool. I'll show you the tank stamp. Imperial Providence Rule Item. A, um, a vertical USA. So that would date between 1956 and 1988. Carbon steel blade. Really nasty. I've not even wiped this knife, knife down. <clears throat> had it for a bunch of years i just never have uh, cleaned it up um you can see a lot of this is still present the blade so there's <clears throat> not a horrific lot of wear on the blade on this the main blade is um <clears throat> lazy so it doesn't clip open like that and it doesn't clip close like that uh, but it'll stay open and it'll stay closed. There's the patent numbers you see on there. Um, more nasty blade. You can see the rust right there. So I've put oil down in there. I just never cleaned it up. <clears throat> it's a really cheap and expensive knife. If you look at the back, it's very uneven here. <clears throat> and that's the thing on these uh, shellbacks. They didn't even try to... Um, <clears throat> grind down the uh, back spring to make it all smooth. 
primarily because if they did that, they'd be grinding into this, which is just paper, um, which is covered with a laminate of some type. <clears throat> That's how they made them. But it's an interesting old knife. I keep it in my collection. Uh, like I said, basically because of this weird kind of pattern on it. Anyhow, I hope you found the video interesting. And I really appreciate all your support. Thanks again.